Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell all in one, and in this video, I'll be doing a full teardown. Uh, disassemble the, the computer, we'll show you how to remove the motherboard, maybe upgrade the RAM, maybe upgrade the M.2 SSD drive, maybe you can change out your blown speaker or maybe the LCD. So in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step process and hopefully help you and guide you with the repair. And if this video helped you with the repair, please click the like button, comment below and tell me what you have done to it, what did you change? Uh, and what did you learn from this video and I'd like to hear from you alright so let's go ahead and get started so sorry about the angle on the uh, camera because I do not have enough room to adjust the angle I can only show you uh, this is the how much I can film uh, face down now I'd like to show you the model number first this is the Dell Inspiron 5400 series AIO stands for all in one and let me see if I can read off the uh, model number here which is W24C I'll bring it close up to you so that you can take a quick look okay and that would be the best angle I can show it to you see if you can auto focus okay W2 W24C Alright, so this is the back of the computer. Um, it doesn't have any screw that holds on to it. So this back plate, you can actually use your fingernail and pry it open. So let me show you where the opening is and you can start prying open. So between the white and the silver uh, and you can just pry it open from that side of it. So you can hear this little cracking noise uh, that is normal. Like I said, there's no screw that holds onto it. It's actually a clipper that clips on the entire back plate. All right, so once you open up the back plate, you can see that the computer is pretty much a straightforward computer with the big LCD screen and a tiny little motherboard here. So what you need is just a regular Phillips screwdriver Let's go ahead and start taking up the back plate and see what do we find. Alright, so once you remove the four screws, this back plate can just pop right out. And once you remove the back plate, you can actually see the entire motherboard. Now here is the RAM. This is the 8 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4. And if you want to upgrade to 16, you can buy another 8 gigs of RAM, uh, DDR4, which it says for PC4. And then this is the 3200. Okay. So once you have the new RAM, go ahead and slide it in at one angle and then when you press it down, the clipper will just lock back in. Now this is the CMOS battery. If your uh, BIOS, if you want to reset the BIOS or do some kind of configuration by mistake, then you can just remove the CMOS and then that way it will reset the uh, motherboard. You need to remove it for at least 5 minutes to reset the, uh, the motherboard. Now here is the additional slot where you can slide it in to install additional um, hard drive. This is the 2.5 inch, which is this one here. I'm not sure why it does, oh the bracket is right here. So this is the bracket. Uh, this bracket here allows you to install on the uh, SSD drive and then you can just screw it in. I don't think it provides the screw, but it does come with the bracket right here. Okay, to remove the bracket, you need to press the little uh, clipper right here to slide it out. There you have it. Okay, so that one is for you to upgrade the uh, 
um, the the uh, secondary drive. All right, so this is the M.2 solid state drive. Uh, this one is the mini version, which is the shorter ones. Okay. This is the thermal pad, which is conduct the heat. Uh, this is the uh, 512, 512 M.2. So if you want to upgrade to the one terabyte, uh, you can. I will make a separate video. I have a separate video to show you on how to clone um, from one M.2 to a larger M.2. So check it out. I think I will have the link in the description below. So if you click the link, it will direct you to my other video on how to clone it. All right, let's go ahead and um, remove what we need to remove, right? So let's go ahead and remove the CPU fan. If you, you know, if if you feel like the uh, the CPU fan is not working uh, because of very dusty or whatnot, and after you remove the three screws, you can actually uh, remove the uh, CPU fan here. And the, the connector, you just pull straight up. It doesn't have any safety clipper or anything. This is just like a push in to install and pull to remove. And this is your CPU fan. And if you want to look up for the model number for replacement, it's CN-01TMP6. That's how it looks like. And there you go. Now this is the heatsink. The heatsink only connects to the uh, CPU. It doesn't have the graphics card in this build. Strictly just a, a Intel i5 CPU here. So that's the heatsink. Uh, this is the motherboard. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. Uh, probably this is the, the webcam connection. Okay, remove that. This is probably the, uh, not 100% sure, maybe the LCD screen, the touch screen. Was this a touch screen? I don't know. Maybe it's a touch screen. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, comment below. Let me know if this is the touch screen. I, I didn't really touch the screen. This is a brand new. I just uh, taking this thing apart right now. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect the motherboard, shall we? Two screws, the, the third one, and the fourth screws. This one right here is the uh, the LCD screen so you gotta press the two side of it it's a clipper and then slide it to your left that's how you remove the LCD this is probably the LCD backlighting go ahead and disconnect the cable this is speaker disconnect the speaker this is the Wi-Fi so we actually need to get to the Wi-Fi just go ahead and remove the two screws white cable, disconnect it, black cable alright, right here you do see a tiny little flex cable go ahead and open up the clipper, flip the clipper straight up at 90 degree angle and disconnect this tiny little cable same for this open up the clipper slide it to your left that's how you disconnect it and we should be able to remove the motherboard let's see what else is holding it so this guy is still holding it remove that what else is holding it still it looks like the CPU is holding it the heatsink 
since I'm doing the uh, the heatsink removal right now, I'll explain to you if your CPU gets hot, right? If your fan goes on a high speed all the time, you might want to come here and apply a new thermal paste. So this is what I call thermal paste. Looks like the paste is still moist, meaning that this is uh, freshly installed. But if your CPU is getting really hot and the fan always go on a high speed, you might want to come and clean out the thermal paste using the alcohol wipes once you clean it out. The wipes like this, alcohol wipes, wipe it down and then apply with the new thermal paste on it. Okay, so once you remove the heatsink, the motherboard we're just going to slide straight up. And that's how you re replace the entire motherboard. Okay. Now when it comes to the LCD replacement, all I can say is, it's not easy. What you need to do, you need to actually transfer the entire motherboard and also the the base. So this is what I call the base. Um, meaning that the base, the LCD is by itself, right? So you need to move this base over to the LCD. Uh, in other words, you need to unscrew all of this. So all the speaker needs to come out. So the speaker comes out, the Wi-Fi antenna comes out. Uh, what else you have to bring it out? What is this? This is for that speaker. Um, yeah, I did promise you to show it to you on how to remove it. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and remove the speaker. There's only one screw, two screws. So we need to remove the base. Alright, so once I remove all the screws, let's see if I can remove this base here. Okay, so the base is removed. The stand, sorry, not the base. I keep saying the base, but it's actually the stand. I removed the stand. And, and I feel like you actually have to remove everything. So changing out the screen might be a the most challenging part meaning you have to remove all these screws okay once you remove all the screws and this is the base that would have to come right out and this is the speaker in the front here that is blocking it still so 
Um, I'm not able to show you how to replace the screen. I think the best bet is if you want to buy a replacement screen, maybe get somebody who sells you the entire base and the LCD all together one piece like this. And that way, when you do a replacement, you just got to transfer your motherboard over. Uh, that should be that should be it. Um, I think that might be the best option for you. So I uh, apologize, not able to do the LCD replacement screen. It looks like you have to remove a lot of screws just to get this base out because I can see that the LCD is right there. So if you look carefully, the base is the plastic cover and the base is here and the LCD is right there. It's behind of this metal piece. So if you remove all the entire metal piece, that's where the LCD is. You can just replace them. All right, so this is it. Uh, sorry about the LCD, and hopefully you learned something of this uh, teardown here for the motherboard and the RAM upgrade and whatnot. Uh, the speaker replacement, you have to re remove this plastic cover. Okay, this is it. Sorry about that. Um, sorry. Uh, thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.